Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Today, I want to talk about why it's so important to work out your salvation with fear and trembling before God. Why it's so important to be careful, to, to be sure that you are still walking in his way. That you are continuing in his goodness and in his love. The Lord warns us that if the natural branches, Israel, was cast off, he, he tells us to fear lest we also be cast off. You know, that we must be, that we must continue in his goodness to remain with him. And see, a lot of people are deceived about the mercy of God and who his mercy is to. His mercy is to those who love and fear him, who walk in his way, who who do these things, who are careful to obey him and to continue to obey him. Now, there is mercy to the world. The mercy is that the Lord has not destroyed you yet. That he's given us all time to repent because we, we, we were all once sinners. All once lovers of the world. But the Lord showed his love towards us that while we were yet sinners, he gave us Christ. To turn us away from our sin. If we would be willing and obedient. If we would seek him. With all of our hearts, like the word says. But what what I, what I see is because people have been given the Holy Spirit and they have been given wisdom, they believe that you know from there on that there's there's no danger. But it's not true. The enemy is always prowling, seeking. Whom he may devour. And the Lord tells us that if we start out in his way and we look back that we're not worthy of him. And see what you have to know and understand is that when you are walking the way of the Lord. If you go back to a wicked way wisdom will cast you off. Wisdom will leave you. The word warns about. A people who does not love the truth. And then God sends them a strong delusion. That they will believe a lie. And see so you cannot allow pride to enter you to believe. Well it can't be me. It couldn't be me. I love God. Which is something that most all of the world confess. That they love God. But we must worship God in spirit and in truth. We must continue in his way. Those who continue in his word are his disciples indeed. And they shall know the truth and the truth shall make them free. But don't believe that just because you've been given the truth, that the truth will remain with you. Truth and wisdom is not something that's in your brain. It's not a knowledge. It's a spirit. The Holy Spirit. And just because you've once had it. Just because you've once been full of wisdom. Does not mean wisdom will remain with you. Wisdom can cast you off. And no matter how wise you were before. It can leave you. To where you will now believe a lie. So if you start out. And the Lord calls you. And you give up your life you forsake all that you have you know you once loved money and you and you let that go you gave it up to the lord but if you turn back then you, the wisdom will leave you you'll be worse off than you were before before you came into the kingdom the word says and that's why the lord gives us so many warnings that's why he, he, he tells us as long as we are in these bodies, in this world, we are to live here in fear. St. Peter. 
He tells us to make our calling and election sure, to be careful, working out our salvation with fear and trembling. Because what we are dealing with is life and death, eternity. Where you are going to spend eternity depends on what you do in this body. On how you walk, on how you seek. Now the Lord gives us grace to overcome and to accomplish all these things. But you have to remain willing and obedient. You have to re be careful to do the things that he says. To be alert, to be watchful. To seek him in fasting and prayer. So we have our part to play in it as well. To seek to be holy and acceptable in his sight. Which is our reasonable service. But if you give up your life. It doesn't mean that you will always give it up. You must be careful to continue in the way. And, and there's many things that the Lord tells us. He says, except you hate your husband and wife and children, you cannot be his disciple. Except you hate your own life also. So if you start out hating your wife, you have to continue in that. It doesn't mean that the enemy won't try to lure you into placing your wife above truth. That the enemy won't try to lure you into having a respect of persons. Where you will now, now you are the one who's protecting your wife. You are the one who is going to save her. You don't no longer trust the Lord to do things. Because now your heart is turned towards your wife rather than towards the Lord. So you, you, you give up these things, but you must continue in them. You must continue in his way all the way until the end. You must endure until the end to receive the crown of life to be saved. So that's why you must be careful. That's why you must work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Because it is life. You must fear God. You must be humble. To know that when you see the warnings that he gives to us out of love. Because he doesn't desire that any man should perish. So he said, I told you these things beforehand so that you would know it. So he gives, don't, don't take his warnings as, you know, as if it's not love. His warnings are love to us. So that we know the devices of the enemy and we're watchful and careful. And so that we can look over those that he placed in our path to warn them. And to walk together and to exhort and rebuke and correct. So I wanted to share this message because it's what the Lord has put on my heart. That he, he wants us to be careful and to do exactly what he's been telling us to do. To work out our salvation and, and to make our calling in the election sure. Not just once or twice, but always until the end. Be blessed.